In Northern Ireland, uh, they have 21 for a country that is much smaller with a quarter of the size of the population. So they have 21 uh, monitoring stations. If you look at the map of not only the UK, but the whole of Europe, you see a complete cluster of air monitoring stations uh, everywhere, except Ireland. Now, I'm not certain why we don't feed in some real-time information there, because there would appear to be PM 2.5 and PM 10 monitoring. But presumably it's because we don't do all of the real-time monitoring. So the nitrogen oxides and the sulfur dioxide as alongside the, the particulate matter isn't done and therefore isn't eligible to be able to go into that map. If anyone wants to look at that map, uh, they can see it on the, on the lecture I, I, I produced. Um, and what they'll see is everywhere a swarm of air monitoring stations, Ireland completely blank, um, Italy not great but it does have some but it would also see that Iran even has one real-time monitoring station. I, I will compare that to the UK and I would say that it's probably 10 or 15 years behind the very extensive uh, network of air pollution monitoring that they have and coordination uh, not only between themselves, between the stations, but also with the health services. That's another I issue that really has to be addressed in Ireland, I think, is that yes, it's easy to relate air pollution to death uh, because you look at death certificates and then you trace back and then you find out what they, they died from. Um, health issues, say like asthma, and like other cardio problems and whatever, do require a more subtle approach in which the information is collated, say in Ireland by the HSE, as to those people who are ill because of, of asthma, visit, have therefore visited the GP or uh, an A and E, and try to collate that with air pollution events there are. So the EPA and the HSC uh, needs to do that in order to really work out uh, perhaps even an early warning system for those who are most at, at risk. They're called syndromic surveillance systems. Now it sounds a bit big brother but uh, these are now being uh, thought about by researchers and the work is being published on them in the UK. It's very important then to try to link uh, in Ireland, all of the differing outlets that, that people go for, for ill health to see what they're suffering from in a coordinated network so that we can have a good idea of truly what the effects are of air pollution, not just death, uh, to the Irish population.